you think it's okay to tell people to be vegan? I like meat, this is my lifestyle. For me, it's the better way to live. Better for I, you. Already, it doesn't already, matter already, what happens to anyone else what as long as you live good. Do you think we could kill me humanely right now if I want to live? Plants, they're living things too. We shouldn't be killing them. Do you honestly believe that a tomato cares if I cut it? Can you prove that there's no subject to science? We don't need to prove I, it. I'm not a scientist. I don't need to prove it. It's so obvious. It's clear. It's, it's just, it's it's just as obvious as there's no subject in here to me. The ones that Some plants open their mouths and eat flies. Are we going down into the gas? We're going to get caught. Do you think like humane killing exists? Do you think it's a thing to like kill humanely? Do you think you could kill me humanely right now if I want to live? Yeah. You could kill me humanely if I want to live? If, if you want to live? Yeah, oh, no, no. I want to live, right? You're not putting me out of my misery. If yeah, I don't yeah. feel a thing, right, and you kill me, mm -hmm. is that humane? No. What if you like the way I taste? Is that justified? No. Yeah. We try to find this humane way to kill animals, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. They want to live. Obviously. Yeah. So I'm trying to say, is it humane to kill them if they want to live? You don't necessarily know what they're thinking though. Do you believe in God? Possibly, yeah. I don't believe in religions though. Because yeah, yeah. I think they're supposed to point you to God, but I don't... Uh... Yeah, God would have put them there that's, that's what I hate. for that's a reason. What I like, every, every, everything serves a, serves serves a, purpose. a purpose. Okay. Like, I believe okay. that God like put animals there for like purposes, if you know what I'm saying, like horses. Like they were used back in the day to like help to, people to travel, travel etc. Now we've got stuff cars. like that. Yeah. So should we still use horses? Well, how do you think you evolved into the human that you are today? I mean, maybe my ancestors had to do some horrible things, mm -hmm. right? They had to kill animals. They probably had to kill other people. And are, yeah. are they wrong for that? When you're trying to survive, I'm not going to hold someone morally responsible. You know what I mean? As much, I'm not going to be like, oh, you were trying to survive and you killed a fish, or you kill another human to save your family. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? But like murder, animals are just chilling. We're mass murdering them. We don't need to eat them to survive, actually, or oh, to be healthy. Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, so we're only doing it for, like, we do for per, for personal gains, for like taste preference. Not, not, not even just taste. It's not really no, taste. Like, everything's because just, they all taste different, and you can change the taste yourself with like flavors, this, that, yeah. etc. It's like the same thing with uh, plants. If we were to go with your view, then they're, they're living things too. We shouldn't be killing them. K killing them, exactly, for sure. So what's the difference, do you think? Uh, uh, do you think there's a moral? Organisms? Uh, plants no, organisms? Of course they're living, yeah. Just I like agree animals. With, I, agree, I agree with both of you, yeah. they are living. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Do you think there's a, diff a moral dis distinction, like a moral difference between like plants and dogs, cats, humans, other animals? Do you think they suffer in the same in the same way. Yeah, I if, think they. I think if, they. they it suffer just depends in the same on the way. way you see it, really. If you love life, then they both suffer in, in the same way okay. for sure. So why don't you try to kill like plants humanely when you eat them? Do you have halal slaughter standards for for plants? No. Why not? If they suffer in the same way as animals, and they're supposed to be, it's it's haram to cause suffering. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I know. I think because their plants don't actually suffer the same as animals. Otherwise, it would be written into your guidelines. Do you technically do? No, nah, well, think about it, bro. Like, think a potato has a brain, a functioning nervous system, mm -hmm. pain receptors, things like that, that, that animals they have. They die, they They go can't on. escape pain. So why would they need it? They don't have pain, they don't... Like, pain is a mechanism for you to know that you're suffering to escape, mm -hmm. yeah? Plants don't need to escape. They're rooted into the ground. They don't need pain receptors because they don't have to escape. How about this, then? Why don't you tell the animals to start eat, stop eating animals? Can't. You can't. Just, can't. just how you can't, can't tell them. I can't tell them. It's a cycle. I can't tell them to stop it's raping each other either, you know what I mean? Like... You guys I can, I can reason with. You know, I can say don't murder this individual there, but you're not gonna tell a lion that because they're out there surviving. Mm. And if you were in a war and you had to protect your family, I'm not gonna say, I oh, don't shoot that person who's trying to kill your family. Morals go are gone at that mm. point. Now we're civilized, we're not surviving. We've got choices no, to make. We are, we are surviving in a way. In yes, a way, but yes, not in the yes, same yes, way. Yes, things, things like have a changed. Lion. Yeah? yeah, things are different, yeah. obviously. But and then we still need to eat to survive, if, if you know what I'm saying. Of course. But we can choose what we eat to survive. Like, I don't yeah, have to eat you well, to survive. Yeah, obviously. Like, right now, in this, yeah, when we're chilling. Obviously, obviously. Yeah. So, sir, so you think it's okay to tell people to be vegan, but we can't... No, I never mentioned the word vegan, by the way. No, sorry, I just noticed your tattoo. Yeah, okay, so now it's, <laughs> all the vegan things come out. Yeah, I didn't mention the word vegan, though, but uh, you've seen that on my neck. Yeah, yeah. I didn't actually tell you to be vegan, actually. I just, uh, I'm asking you questions. Yeah. And I'm trying to get you to logically think about things you don't think about, usually. Yeah, it's, it's, I because I've thought about this for a long time, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, uh, like, um, like, you seem like you're just beginning to think about this, these, all these different 
things. Like it's probably not something you sit there th thinking about all the time. It's not. Yeah. Sure. I've thought about everything that you've said. I've heard everything that you've said like mm. multiple times. So that's why I've always got an answer yeah, for it because yeah, yeah. I always hear these same things from people. Same things, yeah, yeah. Because people sure. are conditioned in the same ways. Do a little bit different. Like you've got a religion that's maybe dictating your religion actually has something about animals in there yeah. i still don't think muslims should eat animals and they don't have to it's not required by god to. yeah them. it's not required to eat them yeah. but and then it's not like forbidden to eat them if you know what i'm saying like no. you can eat them like it's the, under certain guidelines yeah you can eat them under yeah. certain guidelines if they're looked after properly yeah. fed this stuff yeah, no. like you're not supposed to treat them cru cruelly and then you're also supposed to sl slit slit their throat it like kills the nervous system so when then it's the least painful way to go. You know the RSPCA did a study on halal slaughter and they found that the animals were suffering for about a minute and they, they decided to start stunning halal animals here because of that study. That's the same RSPCA that that, that, uh, that you know, are hypocrites. Gas chambers. Yeah hypocrites. Yeah. I agree with you. I agree with you but science is showing that slitting someone's throat and just leaving them to bleed out is actually not as humane as they might have thought back then. When this was written you had different circumstance with people. They're allowing something to happen. They're not requiring you to eat animals. When you live in a world with a choice, mm. what, would it, what would be the most humane choice? What would be the most choice that causes the less death and suffering and blood and violence? And then you can guarantee no one's being suffered in a gas chamber. Mm -hmm. suffered eat, every, eat everything in proportion, I'd say. Don't eat just meat, 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 which, which a lot of people do. do Everyone do. does. Like KFC, yeah. people go to KFC, but don't, everything's just meat, meat, meat. You yeah. could like... So you don't it's think you should stop eating meat at no, all? I don't, think, that's crazy. I, I, I don't think you should stop eating meat at all. I don't think that's the that's the that's that's uh, that's what anyone should be doing. Okay. I don't think it's completely um, healthy as well. Yeah, I, think I, think I, I don't. I don't. Think I, I think. I think. It, I think you need meat. All right. If you, if you want to be a, a good complete, athlete, good 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 protein. Do you don't think there's any vegan athletes? Or? Oh, for sure. There yeah. are vegan athletes, but all the best athletes aren't vegan. LeBron James, best basketballer, potentially of all time. Not vegan, Cristiano Ronaldo. I think my, my, the larger percentage of human beings are actually not vegan, so like I don't think that statistic really works because there's just way more non-vegan. Well, so you're always going to get like the best scientist is not vegan, or well, the best everyone is not vegan nearly because it's only like we're only a small percentage of the population. I mean, if if you were a small, small so, percentage of yeah. the population and veganism really worked, then wouldn't you just skyrocket to the top? No, because like like you guys right now, like you're not like just agreeing with this straight away, are you? Like even if animals are suffering really badly, like you're probably not going to stop eating bacon tomorrow. No. Knowing that there's a gas chamber they're coming out of. I mean, I, w I wouldn't necessarily eat the, the gas chamber bacon. There's no way of you knowing like you what, said, what pigs are killed in gas chambers like, and which like aren't. Like you said, the RSPCA stamped the, the gas chambers. No, no, pigs. no. Even the ones that aren't RSPCA approved are still killed in gas chambers. 86% of the pigs are killed in gas chambers. Well, I, will, I will think twice now for eating vegan and gas bacon. Yeah, you'll think twice, but you'll probably still do it. Like this is, you're saying, why, aren't, why isn't everyone vegan, no, right? It's, and it's mm -hmm. because that you have to make a decision and change your behavior, mm -hmm. which is like a big ask for people that who just don't, just, I've got bigger things to worry about, man. I've got other things to do. Mm -hmm. I don't really want to check my food to see if it's vegan. Like that's probably why, because it's more comfortable. People have different conditioning, so it takes time. Like not everyone's going to go, oh, what, that's cruel? I'm going to stop it tomorrow. Like I know it's cruel. I know how cruel it is. I know the extent to how much they're lying to everyone, but I'm an investigator and I'm an activist. I've been doing this for a long time. So it's going to take people a long time. That's, that's, that's all right. I can show you footage if you want to see it. All right, I don't want to see footage. And I'll show you exactly. It, it's. It, fact, I do. I do want to see footage. Yeah. It's one of the worst things I've seen. That's crazy. Yeah, that, that's, that's crazy. And they're widespread, yeah. and people don't know about them. So they go into here. Mm -hmm. They're waiting up here for a sec, and it's like a. If you can imagine like a Ferris wheel, this is one of the cages on the Ferris wheel, and it goes down into a pit. And then they start going into the gas. Trust me. Can you imagine dying like that, bro? No. It could, could be done in a better way. Better way? Why? Why? This is the most humane way method. I think that word humane should be abolished. Because people use it wrong. Yeah, they do. They use it wrong because there's worse ways to die. And this is why they say it's more humane. Like if I was going to torture you first, before I killed you, I would be inhumane. But if I didn't torture you and I just put you out of your misery, people call me humane. But if I've got an option not to kill you at all, what's that? I'm an, I'm an extremist now? I'm a vegan extremist? I guess she's wrong by everyone. Like, yeah. I'd say even you, 
say um, you're a vegan, right? So you'd say you you mainly eat food. Or, I think the most humane thing to do, like, is to follow the definition, being kind and compassionate. You can't yeah. compassionately kill somebody who wants to live. But you can't compassionately pull grass and eat. You're just killing it. Yeah, I don't, I don't think mean. it doesn't what, matter to me because it's like, I mean? it's non-sentient. Do you know what sentience is? Yeah, yeah, sentience is... Is like this, what you're experiencing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Plants are not sentient. They don't have a brain, a consciousness. They only react to sunlight. They're like little, little non-sentient computers. Like a computer doesn't have sentience, but it's smart, it's intelligent, it reacts. But this is the plants. It doesn't matter what happens to a tomato because... But when you compare the sentience of, of a, a chicken to a, to, to, to a human being... Well, you compare some human sentience to some humans. So you compare a baby to an adult. They're still sentient, so they're still conscious and experienced, and, and they can suffer, mm. and they can experience happiness, you know what I mean? But a, a tomato plant cannot experience happiness or suffering or pain or emotions. There's, there's no one in there. If you see me um, just smashing a tomato plant, mm -hmm. you wouldn't give a shit. But if you see me kicking a dog, you would step in, you'd probably punch me in the head, and I would hope you would. Because you know? a dog's got more sentience than a, like, than a chicken. No, no, like, I'm a, talking about a tomato plant. Hmm? If you see me smashing a tomato plant, you wouldn't say shit if it was my uh, tomato plant. You'd be like, what are you doing? It's mine. No, I'd say I'm I, just I, not... I'd, I'd still ask I'd just say I'm not... Like, well, okay, I've got prunes, like uh, uh, clips, and I'm just snipping it down, just like that. Just snipping it down in my backyard, oh, pulling God. tomatoes off. You're not going to say shit. but if you see me with a dog, no, no. and I'm sawing the dog's head off, you're going to go, what the f is he doing, dude? I'm going to say, it's okay, I'm eating it. I'm making bacon. Dog bacon. What's your point there? My point is that you know intuitively that plants are not sentient. Yeah, not because I can test it. Mm. You know, you know when I'm kicking a tree, you don't give a shit, it's a tree. It's a tree trunk. It's just a non, it's just a life form that doesn't have a mind. It's like... No, I, I'd say they've got minds. I see they've got minds. Well, the mind, say, yeah, they have, because Okay. They, they react they react to different stuff like if you were to do something to a planet it would react it react, react in a way. You use the word react so, and so does your iPhone. Say, yeah, because we program yeah, it. To react. That's because it's yeah. programmed. Well, they're, they're pre-programmed. How, how how can they be pre-programmed? They're a living organism. They they're living. They can't be. They can't they're, be. They've got DNA. They've got the, 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 the DNA. They've got like a they've got a biological. They're yeah, a biological like organism. A system, yeah. There's no nervous system. But it's, it's, it's not the same as like your nervous system where if I stab you, you feel the pain, it goes to your brain, you have pain receptors, it heals, you suffer. Mm -hmm. You're actually also experiencing, so you're a, a personality. Mm -hmm. Like you've got someone inside of your brain experiencing the pain. You can't communicate with a plant and know if, it, know if it's scared to be killed. Exactly. No, but they don't express any pain. They don't, there's I, no, I, they don't I, have eyes or a brain or yeah, a... Obviously they don't have eyes. Come on, bro, like think about they, this. You, you're, talk, you're doing all the talking here. Like, do you honestly believe that a tomato cares if I cut it? Could do. It might do. No, 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 but... Well, this might be alive here. This microphone might be alive. Like, nah, that's, that's, it might do. That's, no, God, that's, 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 that's man-made. Right? That, that's that's, that's, that's man-made. It's, it's not... Okay. Well, what's it made out of plastic? But how do you know that atoms aren't sentient? Atoms? If I made a claim about this microphone, would I have to prove it? What, what claim would you want to make? Make a claim... So you're making a claim that tomatoes feel pain, yeah? Prove it. Could do. Could do. We're not saying that they do. No, but they could. You need, they could. A, you need to be able to prove it. The burden of proof is not on me. You have to, pr you have to prove your claim that can, plants feel pain. Can you prove pain. that they don't feel pain? Yes. Go on. But it's not up to me to prove it because the burden of proof is on you. You're making the claim. No, no, no. I want you to convince me well, that tomatoes I, don't feel pain. Do you know what the burden of proof is? No, the burden of proof, it. the person who's making the claim has to prove their positive claim. I don't have to prove a negative. I don't have to prove something doesn't exist. You're saying something does exist. You have to. No, I weird. I don't remember saying that something exists. No, no, I you're say, saying that plants. No, no, could. you're saying. Could could yeah, but that's, that's it. Who cares if it could? I don't care if it could. I want to know if they can. Can Can you prove that it does? I can prove animals feel pain. No, can you prove that plants feel pain? I'm not trying to. I can prove. No, I, I know they don't because it's it's clear to us that how. Through evidence, they don't have a brain, a functioning nervous system. They don't have pain okay, receptors. Okay. They don't have. Right, if, we, if we were to prove, then if if we were to get evidence that plants feel pain, would you stop eating plants? If you, you found eat? out that plants actually scream in terror, good luck. You never know. You could you could find. You never know. Pain for, you never know if a rock feels pain, bro. You never know. I could say your glasses are sentient, right? No. If I make it, no, I can because you can you, because it, won't be true. You, it could be true though. It, 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 it couldn't be true. No, no. Well, 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 there you go. It's not a living thing. It could be. No, it's not. Same thing. The glasses. It doesn't matter if it's living. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. It matters if they can feel pain and if they they're conscious and sentient. What the TV's glasses, for example? What are they? It's just just the glasses, right? Yeah. 
There's nothing to them. It doesn't matter. Plastic. Well, how do you know plastic doesn't feel pain? How can plastic feel pain? So, so, so. so how so, can a tomato feel pain? So, uh, like, uh, wood, 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 wood. I don't care. That, so, that, so, I don't so, care so, about so, 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 Let me speak. You're saying it's possible. Yeah, so, good. Go so, ahead. Go so, ahead. So, so, because if they feel pain, they can't be killed, you can't eat them. The reason it matters if an animal so, feels pain is because there's a subject there, which, like, you're a subject, no, you're, a, you're a subject. No, I, I get what you're so, you can experience the pain. I get what you're trying to say. A tomato. With a plant, I don't. There's no one there. Can you prove that there's no subject inside a plant? Can you prove there is a subject inside a plant? No. Can you prove that there isn't? But I don't I, need to prove I'm it. I'm not a scientist. I don't I'm need to so prove so it. It's so obvious. I'm it's clear. I'm it's just, it's just, it's it's just as body. obvious as there's some no plants, subject in some, here to me. Some plants are intelligent. Uh, how, They're the ones that how literally... Is it, how, some plants open their mouths and eat flies. I don't care. My is, phone is, my is, phone is, calls is, people is, is, when is, I push on it. Yeah, but that's because it's It's man-made. It's man-made. You've given it a purpose. What I'm trying to say is that just because something could be doesn't prove that it is. And you need evidence to prove something. So that plant that opens their mouth and eats other things, eats flies, is that not sentient? No, 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 because you can put a rock in there and it closes its mouth. It doesn't know what it is. It's still sentient. It's still, it's still it's yeah, about a Venus flytrap. It's not sensing something. It's no, no, no. nervous system. No, no, it's, it can feel it. Can no. feel, the Venus flytrap, it senses when something's there and then it will close. It doesn't matter. My phone it's, senses it's when no, something's there. It doesn't mean it's sentient. Well, that's because you, you've put a sense. You've put there's a sensor inside here that I know when you're tapping the well, screen. Well, think about uh, right now. That's that's black. Yeah. Tap it. It's because it's a sensor. It's programmed. But does that mean do that, that there's that there's a subject in no, it? No, because you've programmed. Okay. That's, that's, well, you, there we that's, go. That's, that's, you've given it electricity and you've programmed. So what? So what? What I'm trying to say, back. right, is that something can exist, mm -hmm. right, that reacts to outside stimulation. Mm -hmm but there's no subject in there. There's no sentience in there. Things can exist like that. There's no individual. There's no individuality in chickens. Yeah, there is. There isn't. Yeah, because in, in, chickens have sentience, they have personalities, what and they... Personalities? They all, they all You'll be surprised, the same, the same actually. They all do, they all do the same. When you leave, just look up uh, chicken intelligence studies. You see how smart yeah, and, and, we're not, and we're not saying that they're not you intelligent. Can, you can make anything. But they, there's also a subject you in there. You can make a cockroach intelligent. Some does, does, no, no, no. don't vegans because eat insects? I don't eat any uh, animal, but uh, insects die in plant production. But it's something you can't avoid. That's but, why uh, I say we should we shouldn't be making plants because insects die from it. Yeah, but the animals that you eat eat a bunch of plants, so you're killing more plants by eating animals because the animals, the pigs eat the grain, the chickens eat the grain. So you're yeah, killing... It's a circle. It's more plants it's killed. It's, it's, it's a cycle. Yeah, every, every, us humans, we're at the top. And then let's say chickens, for example. And that's they're, they're below us. But we can just eat the grain and the potatoes and the vegetables yeah, but and leave the chickens much, alone. There wouldn't be much nutrients from that. No, you can get your full, like no, if you, you, you can get you can get nutrients with it. Yeah. I'm not I'm not denying that. No, they can be but, vegan, and be healthy, man. Yeah, I know, but you're not gonna get the same. We're all vegan. We're yeah, all you're vegan. Not, you're not gonna get get the same like well, what's it called? Like nourishment. Nourishment. Yeah, you're not gonna get the same nourishment. Do you have evidence for that, though? You can ask a scientist. They'll, they'll no, but you're making an assumption again. Like I'll, I'll it's honest. fine. To, if I'll you've be. got if you've got good data to support what you're saying, that's fine. But there's actually data have on the other. Have you got data against against yeah. one too? Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's like a big systematic review from the American Dietetics Association saying uh, vegan diets can be healthy for all stages of the life cycle. Yeah. Pregnancy, well, no, infancy, saying, health. No, 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 I'm not saying that it's not healthy. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that it's so, not healthy. Okay. Because. Every everyone's advised to eat uh, vegetables, eat their greens, like they say. Doctors say eat five, fruits and veggies. Day. Do they say eat KFC? Do they say eat bacon? Do they say no? Do they eat bacon for health. See me. They, they see me. Eat red meat. Is red meat, meat, meat healthy? Or not? If you get all your proteins from plants, it's yeah. not going to be the same as getting it from uh, an animal because it's a different type of protein. If you know what I'm saying. No, I would... like, that's that, that's like saying let's say you eat loads of beans to get the right amount of protein that you need for yeah. for your day, etc. Proteins in all plants, by the way, but. Beans would be more protein, so like... How, how, let's say in a kind of beans, how much protein are you getting? I think beans are only about 20 grams or 15 grams per hundred uh, cooked beans. But uh, something like tempeh would be like 25 to 30 grams per hundred. Yeah. If you want to get 100 grams of actual protein or 140 grams if you're bodybuilding or something. Mm. I mean, easy, man, on a vegan diet. If you found out, right, mm -hmm. you can get your protein, mm -hmm. you can get your nutrients, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you could eat balanced mm -hmm. and that there was actually a lot of science to support plant-based diets, mm. right? Would that make you stop eating animals? No, it would not. So why are we why are we even bothered discussing about it? Try, that's just the way it, Why it, would it, you even deploy that as an argument? You're best off just saying, I'm not gonna change either way, so I, I don't need to justify my, my myself. Because I, even I, if you I'm, found I'm out- I'm just trying to understand the way that you think. But even if you found out, right, that 
you could be healthy, you could get your protein, you could be, you still wouldn't change. So there's no point in us even discussing they've, they've that. They've made it harder for to, to be vegan. Vegan foods cost a lot of, a lot more money than cheapest food in the supermarkets. Vegan, bros. Oh, it's not. No, it's not. not Rice not is the cheapest it. food per calorie no, no, on earth. We've it. seen like, let's say, vegan, vegan burgers. Vegan, well, you can go to Macca's and get them for four pounds. Macca's isn't healthy though. Macca's isn't healthy. Well, you don't eat burgers for health. Who eats burgers for health? Do you go? Oh, I'm gonna be eat healthy today. I'm gonna get a burger. You get a burger as a treat every now and again. Yeah, same here. But I'm saying, if you want that treat, you can get it vegan. Vegan, vegan burgers cost more. But that's, 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 no, it's not. That's not, not uh, if you get the shittest, cheapest um, factory farmed meat burger in the whole supermarket and you get like a frozen packet for like a dollar for 50, you're right. But I wouldn't want to eat that crap anyway. But all I'm saying is like, you can design a very cheap vegan lifestyle, but even, let's just say you could, let me ask you this question. Let's just say you could design it really cheap. Would that stop you eating animals? I mean, if, if vegan food tasted nicer, if it tasted nice, because. It okay. tasted nice in general. It'd have an impact, 100%. That's, that's what I was well, to it, it wouldn't put me completely off okay. the... So it doesn't matter then. Either way, if we, if I could design a lifestyle for you that was exactly the same amount or even a little bit cheaper than the one you're on now, mm. would you go vegan tomorrow? No, I, I wouldn't. Well, there you go. So there's no point in us even addressing I, I just, it. I just, I just think Do you know what I mean? Because that's not what's holding just, you back. Just, there's something else that's deeper that's holding you both back and it's more like, I don't want to change my lifestyle because I like no, the taste. It's not or, like I don't want to change my lifestyle. Mm. I'd happily change my lifestyle if it's to better myself. So if it causes less suffering because you're alive, and actually, it might even extend your life a little bit, but, it, it, and let's just say you're just as happy. Extend your life. Let's just say you're just as healthy. Uh, I, I, don't, I, don't I, don't th I don't think you'd be just as healthy. Do you, do you think the oldest person in history was a vegan? Got there by a vegan. No, genetics will make you live longer, actually, no matter what you do. But what I'm saying is like, let's just say you're just as healthy, maybe even a bit healthy, maybe eating a little bit more fruits and veg. You're causing less suffering. You found out that actually, you could actually do it pretty cheap. You found out actually that you know, you can get the nutrients you need and protein pretty easy, like I found that out, actually, when I first went vegan. If you found out all these things, what would be the one thing holding you back? I like me. Ancestors. You like me? No, that's no, the honest no, answer. That's, 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 his, that's his honest answer. My honest answer is that my family have come from here, and now they're here, you know what I mean? Yeah, And good. me didn't stop them. You know, why should, it's not, it's not going to stop me. That's not a very good argument for why she continue to do something. It's, well, it's not. Even if it's horrifically cruel, like mm. just because your family, my family will do it, did it for ages. A lot of my family's vegan now, but it took years, mm -hmm. a few years for them to like. But I mean, that's not a very good argument for it's, you to do something. It's the way it worked back then. What would you lose right now if you stopped eating meat? No, do you believe in Jesus? No, uh, not I, like all this religion stuff. I'm a bit iffy on. I, I, I believe probably in God. Uh, do you believe God's vegan? I don't think God needs to eat. Yeah, obviously I don't think, but if he... I, don't, I just don't think, if you've seen what you just seen then, mm -hmm. the gas chamber, do you think that's a heavenly place? No, do you I, think I wouldn't say Do you think there's gas chambers in heaven? Do you think slaughterhouses are good, good, uh, obviously, good in the eyes of God? Depends how the animal's killed. In the UK, gas in chambers, the slaughterhouse... Obviously, I'd, I'd say okay. in neg negative, yeah, bad. But like, if they're, if they're not killing it in that way, like the, the halal way, which I, I believe, I, I, I don't think that's bad. You don't think there's anything wrong with... I don't think there's anything wrong with ki yeah. killing animals the halal way. Even if the animal wants to live and you don't need to do it? it I, I can show you. I can show and you. And it's not—it's not actually required by your religion to do it. Listen, I can show you a video right now on my phone of an animal submitting themselves. Yeah, I've seen it. I've, I've already responded to it in my videos. I've seen that. Like I know what you're going to say. They submit themselves. They submit to God. It's the, they're not. They're submitting because they're scared and they're being dominated by a human. Not, not necessarily. Yeah. Because he let he lets go, the animal does not move. If yeah. it was scared, it would have realized that he's let go and would have run off. Now I, sheep I, are actually prey animals, so they freeze. They freeze when they're terrified. Um, and, and just because you, they trust him doesn't mean that it's okay to kill him. If God put animals here to eat and I put a gun to a pig's head, you watch them run. Nah, you don't believe God don't, put pigs here think, to eat. I don't think I don't, uh, pigs are here to eat. Okay, to so a chicken or a, a lamb, if I start chasing with a, what, a gun? How, yeah. how did God, with a knife? Yeah. You, you want to chase it with a knife though. That's they not, should that's, just submit that, anyway. That, that's, no, that's not. They should just submit no, anyway. No, you're, mis you're mis misunderstanding it all. You need to take it away from any other animal so then they don't witness. Bro, yeah? I've been looking into this for ages, man. I don't want to cut you off, but... Yeah. I know that they're not supposed to witness each other. I know yeah. they're supposed to be a prayer. I know that you're supposed to... They're not supposed to be in fear and things like this. I know they're supposed to be a super sharp knife and they're supposed to cut it through and, it, and you think that it, it, it actually cuts off the nerves to the brain and they don't feel a thing, they're knocked out. Obviously, they're going to feel something, but... It, it reduces the pain, if you, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. It makes it more yeah, yeah. mean. But and, it's not the most humane, and, basically. Yeah. Why do they even do it? Why do they even care about how the animal feels if they're just put here by God? They're food. Because Why would we, you care for them? As Muslims, we're not allowed to kill anything unless it's for a reason. We've actually covered that yeah. you don't actually need to eat them to sustain yourself. Yeah, I know, but it's a, 
Things, what do you think the profits things and things would think of when they look at the state of factory farming and slaughterhouses today? We'll be done in about a week, for sure. Do you know there's no halal slaughter standards for fish? Yeah, I know. You know back then they didn't think fish probably felt pain, but now we've got science to prove they do feel pain. And there's no halal slaughter standards for a fish actually. Don't you think that's a bit, bit like strange? No. Okay. But they do feel pain. Do you think fish feel pain? Oh, every, everything feels pain. Okay. So they, they do suffer on the boats when they're getting dragged out. It, and... it, it depends. Like I, like I said before, it depends how it's done. Every, well, they're on a boat, done. so they, do, they get a big trawling net yeah. and they drag them out from the bottom of the ocean and they dump them on the boat and some of the fish are at, at the top, some are at the bottom suffocating. And there's no actual slaughter guidelines on fishing vessels. There's no way of uh, actually policing slaughter guidelines on fishing vessels. And, and you're yeah. calling for to provide guidelines for slaughtering fish. I'm just saying that the halal standards don't even account for fish, and they suffer. Yeah, and that's Ooh, haram. <laughs> Suffering is haram in uh, yeah. like. But you know? how how can, how can you how can you uh, make it? They don't, so they don't then... have a way it's done for fish though. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm saying like there's no how... there's no do it this way for fish. They're not even they're it's not even recognised really, really in much, a halal slaughter guidelines. There's not really much that you can do. How how would you kill a fish humanely? I mean, if I had to, if yeah. they if it was in their interest to die, that's would that would be humane to me. Like if they were suffering and yeah. they they needed how, to die, how, how would you do it? Um, if they needed to die, and and they were su like if you needed to die and you were suffering and there's no other option, I would kill you as quickly as I could. Yeah, and, and I'm sure that's what's done. No, 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 but they don't need to die. They, 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 they weren't suffering before they were dragged out of the ocean. We cause them suffering and then we kill them and then we say it's humane. It's the same thing with like the chickens, lambs, etc. They're there for a purpose. Like they're doing their, their, their thing. But, and then obviously I'm not gonna catch every single fish I can, no. just eat, just eat them. That, that, that'll be taking a mick, innit? You're gonna kill a lot of animals over the course of your life. Yeah, ob obviously. A lot of animals that don't need to die. A lot of suffering you don't have to be involved with. If you can actually make a choice right now, and maybe it's a more compassionate choice. Maybe it is more in line with God to be more compassionate and you know, be and cause no, less suffering to those who can't, you know? It's, it's eating everything in proportion. But you don't, we, you don't we, abuse when... people in proportion. You don't do that in proportion. You just, no, you just yeah, we're don't talking, do We're it. talking about eating here. We're no, not talking about abusing but, but you know, Yeah, but eating if you need to, doing these things when you need to are a different story. You're not talking about, you're talking about making a, a mundane choice between chicken and tofu. You, you, we're not talking about you are about to die. Yeah, but, sir, you were talking about genetics, right? Yeah. Certain humans' genetics won't allow them to live without meat or, or fish. Yeah, or, or I don't care like unless that. that's you. I honestly don't care about that unless that's you. Unless, unless that's me, for that, yeah, that's because we, we're, we're talking. We know, bro, we know that that could be that, us. That could, that could that be could us. Be that would be a different exactly. conversation then. That would be survival. We would have to talk about that. So, but you're not, you're not, you know, you know, you're both not there. We we don't know. We don't know that. I, no. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I eat. I'd say I eat meat almost every day. Yeah, I used to as well, bro. I used to probably eat meat more than you. Probably, I think maybe. Uh, Maybe. I, I eat a lot of meat. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to... Sh that, 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 and that's why, that, that's why we're just debating this, you know, because you're really attached to it. You know I, what I mean? I'm not attached to it. Could I, you I'm give not, it up? I could give it up if it was for... A good more, reason? More of a valid reason. Why, why, not, why isn't I'll, I'll less be, killing and suffering I'll, I'll, good? Sir, because, sir, 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 I'll be honest. I went through... The, I went seen that documentary on Netflix. What's it called? Game Changers. Game Changers? Okay, yeah. I watched Game Changers. I wanted to be a better athlete. So oh, I, yeah, so you did it for yourself? Yeah, yeah. so I did it for myself. I became a vegan, three months weren't enjoying life how I was, but my performance wasn't rising, wasn't elevating. I was spending way more money than I needed to spend. I was yeah. watching all these little videos and ve vegan, cheap lifestyles, and it just, it wasn't- Didn't work for you. Didn't work for me. I like meat, this is my lifestyle. Mm. It's like, it's, yeah. it's, it's I, 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 for me, it's the better way to live. Better for I, you. Morally, yeah. Better. Morally- It doesn't matter would, what happens to anyone else, saying, as long as you live good. Morally, I wouldn't like to eat um, uh, pigs that, that are gassed and yeah, me neither. And just, just horrible uh, suffering. Animals that are shot, horrible suffering. So why don't you? If, 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 so why don't you? I mean, if there was legit labels that were to put, that were to put, oh yeah. You know about the labels vegan. now, though, bro. So I, I, I'll be honest. I'm not a vegan, but I don't eat. I don't eat um, caged hens, eggs. eggs. I don't, I'd rather eat free value. Or free, you mean free range? Yeah. Free range, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're all gas chambered too, by the way. The free range hens. I said, I didn't, I didn't like, know. And it's like more, ninety percent. Maybe, maybe it's better to be educated more, in it. But it's it's definitely. Yeah. But I mean, look, how it is? How it is? There's, there's, there's the room for improvement, but I wouldn't say cut out meat completely. For yeah. sure. But like, you don't want to say that because no, you I'm really. No, I'm not saying that I don't want to. I I know I could, but it's it's serving a purpose for me, and I'm doing it. Like when when we kill uh, meat the halal way, 
we're at, we're like flat doing it with God's permission in a way. We don't know how your animals are killed. No, I'm saying we're doing it with You've God's... never been in that slaughterhouse. I've been to a halal slaughterhouse. Have you ever been to a halal slaughterhouse here in the UK? I've not been to one in the UK. Okay, yeah, I have. So actually I'm more knowledgeable just by a little bit even if I've just been and seen those factory farm chickens come in there all f***ed up going into a halal slaughterhouse to be served to Muslims who just think, we thank God. It's, it's all this, it's all that. It's, you, you've been programmed, you've been programmed, I was programmed. You, you think, oh, it's all humane maybe. You think, oh, it's all halal maybe. I thought it was all humane maybe. Do you see free range, you think, oh man, for green grass. I know more about free range eggs than most people. Because I've been in their farms and I've seen what happens in them. Suffering animals everywhere. So, so uh, what, eating cage hens better, is that, would you say? Yeah, it's a little bit worse, but free rangers, uh, it, only because they're in a cage, but free range suffer and die in the farms as well. At least for me, knowing that I, I would have rather done the morally good thing, it's, it's, it's made me feel better. I, I know I could feel That's a lot, why people a lot do it. more better. You do it because it makes you feel better. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But no one really thinks about how it makes the animals feel either way. We're not thinking like of others. That's what I'm trying to get people to think of. Like if you were getting beaten right now by someone, I'd be thinking of how you're feeling so and come and defend you. Some human being. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter if you're human. If, you, if it's a dog, I'm a, if it's an animal for me, mm -hmm. if they suffer and they don't want it to happen to them, I protect them as well. So I extend it. Have you spoken to the animals? No, but you don't need to. You don't need to speak to them you, to know they're suffering. Seen, you've seen that video, right? Of the animals submitting, if they're, they're doing it the whole way. Yeah? You're, you're saying they're scared. Yeah. I'm saying I, that I say, I, to me, I say there's some submitting. You think they're submitting they, to God, which is a very big claim to make, but there's actually science on how, them being prey how, animals. How would, how would you know? How Do they you submit know? to the animals that chase them down in the wild? That's completely different. Why? Because it's, it's a survival thing there, mm. and then they're trying to survive. Let, let's, say, let's say a gazelle and a, and a lion. A lion's going to chase, it's not going to kill all of them at once, they're just going to pick out one and eat it because that's what they need to survive. I'm talking about why don't, they, I'm saying to you, why don't the gazelle submit to the lion if God made them for food? Because it's a, it's a different story. Why do they run away for their lives? Why did God design them to run for their lives? Why do they care? They're food. God, you, in your eyes, God made them for a purpose. Why did he make them that, so they feel pain and fear? If he wanted to make, if I wanted to make someone for your food, right, I'd make a tomato. They don't get scared, they don't run away, they don't f themselves in blood in a slaughterhouse. Like, you don't have to trick them into killing them, like a halal slaughter people do. They trick them into submit. He tricks that, that, that. He pats them and he tricks them and then he sits their throat. Like, why didn't they have to see each other get killed? They're all food at the end of the day. They're all food, like it's a sheep, I'm a sheep, we're food, thanks God, I'm submitting, we're submitting, why do we have to not see each other get killed? It's different, it's different. No, 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 think about it though, bro. It's different. Sir, I guess we just have to agree to disagree here. No, that's cool. I'm glad we had a chat though. When I told you about the gas chambers, you were actually like pretty affected by it, man. You were shocked yeah, by it. Yeah, that's, that's, that's really, that's crazy. Yeah, that's, that's bad. It is, it is bad. Like, I'm not saying that you're not a good person. No, I, I know I'm, that. I'm just saying that you're defending something that you're, tr you're really trying to defend this because I'm I'm I, I don't trying, think it's going to be easy I'm, for you to I'm change or something. I'm trying to defend that eating meat isn't wrong. That's what, that's what I'm trying to defend. Yeah. But gas chambers are wrong. Yeah, yeah, gas chambers are wrong, 100%. If I see a gas chamber, that I wouldn't eat that meat. So you're gonna stop eating pork? Probably. Definitely gonna dive in. I'm glad you're thinking research. about it, but like, but, always be honest when you're thinking about it. Don't try to do, like lie to yourself about I'm certain- I'm lying to myself. I mean, it's good to at be the, honest. At the end of the day, <clears throat> I like meat. It be done in a better way. Better way, innit? Eat, eat in proportion, but don't cut it out completely. That's your final- that, That's my final- That's your final thoughts? Final thoughts. And your final thoughts? My final thoughts is, just do what you want, man. Just do whatever you want, don't, do matter, what? don't worry about anything. Just do, my, do what my, you want. If, 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 if you want to be morally good, be morally good. Be morally good. If you don't, do what you want. Yes. But my... don't be a moral hypocrite. Be consistent.